Yeah, it's been there since September. So you think about you know, how it's long, hard to right? You, you just you plan to go for eight days, and here you are pushing 300 days, and finally though, able to come home. We are so close right now to seeing the capsule land in the water off the coast of Tallahassee, just moments away. As you're looking live, as this is happening. And splash down, crew nine back on Earth. And you can hear the cheers there in the background. This is amazing news. I know some people, you know, obviously this was a situation where people were worried. We know they're going to get health exams to really figure out how this mentally and physically affected them. We also know that the ISS is stopped, you know, for emergencies, for things like this. So for the most part, they were able to have a lot of what they needed. But again, it'll be interesting to see what we learn about just how the toll that that kind of time, even though they're trained and they they prepare for this, but it'd be interesting to see the toll that this has taken on them as we look at this capsule now safely in the Gulf. That's right. Now it'll be a while before they get out there to get them mm -hmm. to get the capsule uh, intact, get it captured, get it back uh, out of the water onto a ship, and be able to get them uh, safe again. Yeah, just imagine the relief their families feel, knowing that, I mean, they're in the water, but hey, they're back on Earth, and so that's the closest they've been it's, in quite some time. It's been quite a journey. You can see how the capsule, uh, you know, entering the atmosphere, uh -huh, you see some of the burn marks on the capsule as well, and now you see the cameras going towards into the sun, so that's why it got dark there for a moment, and as it pivots around, you'll see it's lit up once again, get another view of it there. Um, but yeah, but that capsule uh, definitely you can do the re-entry. It's mm -hmm. so hot when you come back into the atmosphere. But of course, it's designed for that sort of thing. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's almost like we're watching a movie. It doesn't even seem <laughs> real as we take this view from uh, NASA as they welcome back Crew 9. For those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. Sunny like Williams pulled out now, uh, back on Earth, back on land. I guess if you can count a ship as land. It's, I, it's, sure. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get if I was her right now. <laughs> and you see you have to gingerly move her to that stretcher. But again, again, as we mentioned, hasn't been in gravity for eight months, nine months. So finally it, back on land, getting smiles. wheeled off. There she is. Definitely seems to be a big smile, big wave, just an incredible moment. Interesting to see their suits Absolutely. compared to, to quote unquote, the old days. Do you remember <laughs> how, how massive uh, they were? They're really fairly tight fitting. Uh, and of course, great. At, here comes another. Here, here comes Butch Wilmore. You can call him Barry. You can call him Butch. I mean, <laughs> Barry's the formal name. But there he is. Now all four are out. All right, four are yeah, back. This should be, our, should be our last one. Right. This is it. Unless there's, there's a surprise we're not aware of. Spacecraft. Okay. All the, they're standing oh, him up. Stand up. Okay, Sit and then down get him onto the stretcher. A shake of the hand there. A wave. A smile. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the body. So it is customary uh, and just standard procedure for all of our long-term space residents to uh, get assistance once they are back on board the recovery vessel.